So the real question is, are you truly happy? Or do you think you made a mistake when you chose me? Oh, wow. Welcome back to another part of the royal baby. In the last episode, we found out Malcolm wasn't dead all of this time and he was being kept alive in a creepy basement. Yes, the story is getting very weird. It was the latest bombshell to hit us all here in Basilia, which means that this, this was about to change everything. Sebastian and Felix's older brother, Malcolm IV, who we all thought died after an accident staged by the Queen, was very much alive and possibly still the king of Basilia. Or is he? How is this possible? I was there at the accident. I saw them take away your dead body, Malcolm. We buried you, watched you as you were entombed. It seems that while you both had given up on me so easily, Mother was not so quick to let me go. I always knew you were a witch, Anastasia, but even you can't raise the dead. What did you do, Mother? I couldn't let my baby go. So I had him brought to my wing in the palace where a doctor used extreme measures to find a heartbeat. It was faint, but Malcolm was indeed alive. So why hide it from us? We would have rejoiced. He was comatose. All the experts said there was no way he'd recover, but I kept up hope and kept him alive in a coma until he could come back to us. Medicine said it wouldn't be possible, but Mother never gave up hope. Never. So, I led everyone to believe Malcolm was dead until I, or a medical miracle, was able to bring him back. Uh, okay, let's support her. Wow, Anastasia, that's like the first thing I've ever heard you do that was actually motherly. I did this to protect the family, the monarchy, our people, and most of all, all of you. My children and future heirs, even your baby, Yami. Oh, so sweet. This is all a great story, but what about Ace? You said you tampered with everything to hurt Felix. He is right. Just because Malcolm is alive doesn't mean you shouldn't be held responsible for attempted murder. I lied. I harbored feelings for Anastasia, which she rebuffed. This is truly crazy by the second. My mother didn't give you the order to hurt Felix. No, I'm ashamed of how I tried to frame Anastasia. I hope that by helping her now, I'm making up for it. Let's play peacekeeper. Wow. I don't know what to say. This is truly amazing, Sebastian. Felix, your brother is alive. Call it what you want, but the miracle happened and now I am here with all of you. I was upset when I walked in, but I want peace now. Aww, he's nice. Will you have me, brothers? I've missed you so much. Yeah, me too. Whew. Oh, look at this nice family reunion. We've always loved you, Malcolm. Always. Can you believe it, Yami? My true love has returned to me. You must be the girl I've heard so much about. The American who was about to ascend to the throne. I'm Yami. I can see you already live up to your country's brash spirit. And I can't wait to find out more about you. That's all for later. We need to deal with the press and the stability of the monarchy. This means I require all my boys by my side. Immediately. We must address the press outside. Side. That's true. I guess the coronation really can't move forward. And for only the most amazing reason. Whew. Sebastian has been through so much. He needs time before he addresses his subjects. Should I pull him away and help him or let him go with Anastasia? We're gonna be there for the father of our child. Yes. Sebastian, you can't do this now. What if this is all part of a dangerous plan? I don't know what to think. This is all so overwhelming. And let's talk about it, just you and me. There's nothing we can't figure out together. What do you have in mind? Come with me. Ooh, where am I taking him? Thanks for getting me out of there. You really are the most amazing fiance. I was worried about you. This is such a shock. You didn't need to face the press and Anastasia. How are you feeling? I guess I'm still a bit surprised, but seeing my big brother alive is amazing. Are you sure this isn't some trick? I don't know, but I love Malcolm, so I hope it's not. Nothing with this royal life surprises me anymore, but somebody coming back from the dead seems impossible. Malcolm was amazing to me when I was a child, I looked up to him. He was the best big brother anybody could have. Felix thought so too. He helped make me the man I am. Aww. And that man is awesome. He deserved to be king. Malcolm is a rightful heir. That doesn't mean you haven't worked so hard to do what's right for this kingdom. Often at the expense of our time and love. I'm so sorry, Yami. I want to be there for you and our baby. Always. Oh, Let's let it go. Forget all that now. So you missed a couple of dates. No biggie, really. At least now our baby can know his uncle Malcolm too. Maybe not being king, 
is for the best. Now I can truly spend every moment with the person who matters the most to me in this crazy world. Still, you would have been a wonderful king. I've never seen anyone care about their duty more. It's not meant to be. Are you sure you're okay? I guess I'm worried. I just hope my mother isn't using Malcolm. That my brother isn't going to be a pawn in a bigger scheme that could tear us all apart someday. Then you have to protect Malcolm. Get him away from Anastasia and make sure he doesn't do too much before he's ready. Now you sound like the protective brother. Hey, Malcolm's my family too, now. And as a family we all stick together, right? Forever, no matter what. Oh, oh, it's just getting saucy again. Thank Thank you for doing this, Yami. For looking out for me. It just makes me love you more. And I love you too. Stop it! Stop it! Okay, we're all inside now. This looks good. A toast to the royal family. I can't tell you all how happy I am that everyone is back where they so deservedly belong. Enjoying the latest addition to our royal free ring circus yet? Uh, let's, I don't trust Anastasia. I'm happy your brother is back. I know you and Sebastian adore him. We do, and yet I'm sensing you aren't exactly rejoicing in this turn of events. I don't trust Anastasia for a second. Neither do I, so let's be careful. Deal. There's one thing I know about Sebastian, he loves this kingdom. More than anything. More than most things. He will do what's right for Basilia. So, you'll think he'll step aside? Let Malcolm reign? Of course, it's the right thing to do. Something tells me he'll make sure that it's the right thing. No matter what. What does that mean? It means Sebastian wants to be king now. It didn't start out that way, but it's true. He won't give it up that easily. That's where you're wrong. This is an opportunity for us. Sebastian will see that too. Thank you all for being here. I know there's so much to catch up on, but I want this transition back to the throne to be quick. A few changes to the monarchy, now withstanding. Have I told you how beautiful you look tonight, by the way? You know, being dead does make a man think that being... Me makes me... Ah, Sorry, damn it. Brother, are you okay? Maybe we should get a doctor. I'm fine. Oh no. <gasps> the champagne is empty. Where are the butlers? My son is trying to give a toast. So sorry, Malcolm. I know we wanted this moment to be perfect, right? Malcolm seems so unsettled, like really frustrated. Something is definitely up with him. My apologies, I haven't spoken in years. Sometimes my throat gets dry. Uh, we're gonna stay out of it. Should we do something? I think it's better if we stay out of it. Let the boys handle this. I apologize. If I may resume what I was saying. Of course, my son. We are your royal subjects and await your every word with bated breath. A baby is something to celebrate. While I was away, so much happened. My dear baby brother, Sebastian, fell in love. Oh. And there is a royal baby on the way. A baby who someday was assumed to take the throne. My throne. <gasps> Malcolm. Brother, I'd say it's time to rest. A king needs no rest. Come with me. I don't need to be coddled. I'm just trying to help. Like you did blundering your way through treaties and appearances after you jailed our mother. I think you'll see I've done well for Basilia to honor your legacy. Maybe we should just let Malcolm retire to his quarters. Maybe you should mind your own business. That's enough, brother. You're upset, Malcolm. I understand. You've been through so much. You have no idea. There's no rush to return to this public world. Especially if you need to get back to things. Slowly. I... I am ready. Ready to reign and I have a clean bill of health. I believe you, but we need to be sure. I am the king and I will assume the throne immediately. And we need to ensure our mother's good name is also restored ASAP. There are still so many questions about what mother did. She saved my life, that's all that matters. Malcolm, brother, I love you with all of my heart, but are you trying to undermine the rightful claim to the throne, Sebastian? Ooh, let's defend Sebastian. Sebastian was wrecked with guilt when he thought he hurt you, Malcolm. It's true, he worships you and only wants what's best for you, and you should treat him more kindly. Perhaps this is even more proof just how power hungry Sebastian is, and that he is wrong for the kingdom. We'll see about that. I just want to ensure we do things lawfully and properly. I'm trying to protect you, brother. I don't need your protection. I am king. That is a throne, you, and your child will never be fit to sit on. Oh, oh, it's, it's getting violent and hurtful up in here today. <sighs> Well, that was awful. I know you're just trying to help, but I think I should be alone right now. No way am I gonna leave you. Your whole world has been blown apart today. You're still here, and I'm really grateful for that. You know Sebastian. 
Maybe this is for the better. What do you mean? I mean letting Malcolm take the throne right away. It's an opportunity to build the life and family we want together. It's crazy, right? Malcolm's back one day and we're already fighting over the crown. Then let's focus on what we can control. Maybe we should get married quicker. Spend more time planning for our baby. Isn't that more important now anyway? You saw what Malcolm was like in there. He's not ready to assume the throne. It could lead to disaster. Trust me, I get what it's like for someone to be completely wrong to take over the country. I'm from America, remember? What happened in the United States is a perfect example for why I can't step aside right now. You're saying you want to fight Malcolm for the throne? It's better to lose fighting than to lose giving up. What about us? Everything I do is for us, to make this world better for our child, so stop asking me all the time, okay? Sebastian, I... I'm worried about what my mother has planned for Malcolm. I love my brother. If he's in trouble, I have to help. Can't take everything on your own shoulders. If not me, who will? I was born into this, Yami. It's my responsibility. So for now, I need to protect Malcolm from my mother, and even maybe himself. It has to be my priority. Wow, maybe Felix was right. You really can't walk away. Felix? Of course you'd listen to him. What is that supposed to mean? You two are always together, always sneaking off. Because you never have the time. He loves you, Yami, and I know you have feelings for him. So the real question is, are you truly happy? Or do you think you made a mistake when you chose me? <sighs> wow, this has been horrible. So many horrible things have happened today. So many bad words were spoken. So much violence. I don't like it. If you made it this far into the video, write the word sad down in the comments section because that's what I am right now. It lets me know you've watched the video and it makes me happy. Hope you're all having a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next one.